With over two million copies sold, all three of Billy Gilman's albums have cracked the top ten, making him one of the hottest acts in country music. But Billy had to work his way to the top like everyone else. <laughs> There he is, front and center, already stealing the spotlight at his elementary school talent show. I realized that I wanted to pursue my dream was when I was eight, and um, I went to a vocal trainer out of Westerly, and she worked with me for a couple of years. It was just all uphill from then. It was, it was so overwhelming. It was a world. My first public performance was at the Swamp Yankee Days in Rhode Island. It was a local festival. I was scared to death. Get ready to be amazed and astonished. Billy Gilman! Yeah! I want to be a cowgirl sweetheart. I want to learn to rock and ride. I want to be a cowgirl sweetheart. Oh, that's the life I love the best. The success of his live act soon led Billy into the recording studio to cut his first demo. The first day we went in, I was so nervous, I was terribly off, and they said, I don't think you can do it, you can't do it, and I was like, I can't, I'm just so nervous, I can't settle. And so the next day, I, I got a good night's sleep, I did it, and I nailed it. The first time I heard Billy Gilman sing, I went, wow, that girl sings better than anything I've heard lately. And a friend of mine, Scott Simon, went, well, it's an 11-year-old boy. And I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. And I said, 11-year-old boy? And he goes, yeah, and he's playing in Rhode Island. You need to fly up and sing. So I went up the next weekend, and he was opening for a a group called Alabama. He had four standing ovations. It was like 3,500 people. It was unbelievable. Oh he was the only child artist, meaning under 18, that I've ever even considered signing. He had the most amazing vocal range I have ever heard from a kid in my life. With his name on the dotted line, Billy was on his way. His hit single, One Voice, quickly lit up the charts. But it was this show-stopping performance that crowned him the new young prince of country. My first break was singing on the uh, ACM Awards, I sang Roly Poly, and it was amazing. He already had all the moods, how to interact with the audience, he had this huge range and he wasn't scared of anything. I was scared to death, I was really sweating bullets because in the front there was Reba, there was Brooks and Dunn, there's all these major, major artists. It's just uncanny how far this kid is ahead of his time. It always pays to be nice to people on your way to the top.